Welcome to the YogaSync.tv Creator Sync tool. This interface is where you can really leverage the power of YogaSync.tv. It's available to Platinum members. Gold and other members can browse the interface and have a play around, but they will not be able to save anything. Today we're going to go over building your own custom yoga class from start to finish. We'll show you all the tips and tricks that you need to know to get started. If you're a beginner, it may pay to start with our Claim Sync tool as it gives you some structure to go from, as sequencing is important in yoga. In yoga, you need to make incremental improvements, each stage building on the one before. This tool allows you to slowly progress through the many layers that yoga can offer. So currently you're looking at the blank canvas that you can create whatever you really like. This interface controls about 4,000 pieces of video and there's about 40,000 database entries that make it work, which makes it simple for you. There's a fair bit of intelligence behind it, so we're going to proceed with making a basic yoga sync to give you an idea of how it works. To give you a quick overview of the page, here we have some sorting functions that will allow you to find different yoga movements by the parameters that you want to search by. You have my created, my favorite, followed users. This allows you to access to other movements that you may have created or other people that you're following may have created. Uh, since I'm using my existing account, there will be movements in these, but you'll have to favorite users, follow users, or create movements before they'll be available. But for in the case of this demonstration, it'll be existing files. If you follow Team Yoga Sync Active or follow OWL, there will be a lot of existing movements that you'll be able to bring straight through on the My Followed Users. So you may pay to head over and do that now if you're looking for a bit more. So here is the window which all of the movements will pop into. Further down the page we have a, a timeline and we will put movements into this timeline. The time will come up here and then we will add all the details about the sync so we can save it into our members area. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to build a basic sync in real time so you can follow along with how, how this all works. Here we have a selector that allows you to select between the different levels of movements that you may be looking for. So here we're going to select a beginner because we want a nice easy movement to begin this yoga sync with. And here's all a range of filters that we can sort the different moves by. So let's just go standing. And we want to refine it a little bit more by shoulders. So here we can click the go button. And this allows us, gives us a range of all the different movements that meet these different parameters. And we can refine them further by what we like. In this case, I'm going to select all, which gives us a range of movements which are available under the parameters that we have just searched. Okay, so we want to get a little bit more information about a movement. If we hold our mouse stationary or click on the image, it will bring up a box like that which is movable so we can see more of it. Here there is quite a bit of information in here about the move. If you wanted to preview the movement, you can click the play button. And this will give you a little bit more information about the English name and the Sanskrit name. If you wanted to take a little bit further, you can click play. And you can adjust the volume there. So it gives you a preview of what that particular movement is. And if we go through here, you see the English name, the Sanskrit name, the level. So it's a level one, which is uh, absolute beginners. Uh, elements exist. We'll go over that a little bit later. Here's a few movements that you can do beforehand or afterwards. So you can, these are just suggestions from the Yoga Sync team as to what might help with that particular movement. Here's a modification. If you cannot do this particular move, this one might be handy. We go over the benefits and the contraindications of the movement. So if we wanted to select that, we can put it in the timeline like that. Or we can cut.
come to the movement and simply just drag it down into the timeline. Once you've dragged it into the timeline, you can see the time building. So we've actually created one minute and 58 seconds. So to go into the function here a little bit further, we've, we want, we've got a revolved arm pose. So let's just add a basic shoulder rotation before that. And you can see that's appeared in the timeline there as it's one of the suggestions from the yoga sync team. And then we can add afterwards, we can add a standing shoulder stretch. So that's added three movements into the timeline. And I will just close that window now. So down here you can see we've got 6 minutes and 14 seconds created of this yoga sync already. So if we want to proceed further into it, we can either keep browsing through the range of movements that on, we've got on the screen or we can search by other parameters. So you can have a look here. Here's a half standing forward, bend elbows on the wall, which is a, a nice shoulder open. Here we've here we've got the shoulders nice and warm with a with a shoulder rotation and then another shoulder rotation and a bit of a side stretch with the shoulders so this one here with sequencing it's another good one to to add because it will help open those shoulders which are an area that a lot of us carry a lot of tension in so I'm going to continue to write refine this further and so here I would now I would like to look at maybe something to flow on a little bit to get the get the blood moving a little bit in the body. So let's just filter by that, and we'll we'll go. Let's just we'll go all again here. So this this allows us just the beginners flow. Oh, let's just actually just take the uh, the shoulders out of that. That will give us a little a few more movements there. And here we've got here we can again preview this particular one, this is level one. So it, so let's bring that down into the timeline. You can also use the little button here to click it down or drag it. So this is a nice one that will loop up the spine a little bit and get us doing some breathing. Okay, so we want to move on to something a little bit more active now just to really get the heart going. So I'm going to go to moderate and we'll do a search by moderate and let's go all that will always give a few more results if we're wanting to refine it and here we can ha we can see what we've got uh, it's a dancing warrior sun salutations eight minutes 12 so that's going to be a really nice uh, moving sequence by the look of it that will keep us moving we can always have a preview in here and play on further but i know what that one is so i'm going to bring that down into the timeline Okay, so we might be wondering what we want to put in next, and if you're looking for a few ideas and you just actually want to browse everything, you can, if you click all and you just reset these filters back to all, you can have a browse of everything on the platform, and also all under these particular categories. So if you wanted to do something for abdominals, you get a good range of uh, everything here. So that's a way to, to get a few ideas of what you might want to do. Uh, if you're a beginner, you probably might want to not want to try it too much because yeah, some of these things are, are not for beginners. But if you persevere with Yoga Sync, you'll be surprised how many advances that you make and how quickly that you make them. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate some of the really more powerful features of this interface. Uh, we want to do a search up here for the warrior which is a standard yoga movement that a lot of you probably already know and if we go here we can uh, see we've got a the warrior pose which is what I'm looking for this particular movement is five minutes and 27 and if you've ever done the warrior you'll know that is a long time your legs and arms will be really going and and really it's a little bit long for this sequence so here is where the real power of yoga sync kicks in over here you can see an element exists, so this is going to allow us to modify the time of this movement to a shorter one. So we can click this particular button here, which is now going to open up the create a movement interface. And we'll have the warrior selected. Uh, I'm not going to go any further into this because you'll have to come over in here and learn this particular tool. But for this example, I can uh, come into my, my created movements 
and click go and I've already already know that I've created a short warrior so this particular one here is 2 minutes 12 and it's really just to build a bit of strength in the arms and the legs after the sun salutation so now I'm going to bring that down into the uh, to the timeline you'll see that our sink is now building up to 25 minutes and 14 seconds so we're really getting a uh, nice custom yoga class going here okay so the name of the sink is going to be relax because the idea of it is to relax so what I'm going to do, do is demonstrate another feature here we can come up and uh, I want to find something that's going to start winding us down now and I'm going to look in my followed users just to see if anyone's created a tree pose just to add a little bit of variety and here I can come through and see the name and this is a silent tree for t 3 minutes and 23 seconds so it might be nice to uh, start stilling the mind down and I'm going to bring uh, that down into the interface it gives me a bit more inv invocation and if you've got your if your users have been very active you can see a lot of a lot of different movements in here that that can help you uh, wind down so now we're going to think about coming down say to the floor we'll use another one of our followed movements in here for a bit of variety and then we just don't really know what it is so let's go back into the uh, to the yoga sync created I'm going to uh, so I'm going to um, demonstrate a another another feature now. In the beginning, you'd probably spend a little bit more time looking over the movements and really seeing what you want, because uh, you'll be doing this yoga class in a very soon. So you want to make sure you really know what you're in for. So now we're going to look for something to wind us down into the uh, relaxation part at the end. So I've selected Yoga Sync up here, and I've gone all, and I'm just going to uh, click go. This is uh, this is bringing in everything. So we'll just have a filter by, let's just say meditative, and we'll, that'll that'll be enough. So it'll show us what uh, what we want to start winding down. So have a bit of a browse through here. We're uh, we're already on the floor. Let's have, we can have a look of what we uh, what we like the look of. Well, here's a here's a reclining hand to big toe pose with a strap. This looks like it will uh, will fit in nicely there. Six minutes. Uh, it's always nice to ease the uh, hamstrings out. So now we're up to 36 minutes. I, I wanted to keep this sink under an hour just because it fits my time schedule and I needed something that will uh, help relax in, in an hour. Okay, so I saw another nice movement here which I know that I, I like and the, a lot of stuff's held in the hips and this is a very gentle way to release the hips. So we'll bring that uh, down into the timeline and we'll also have a look for some more hip stuff so if uh, we go a little bit further down here and we're looking for some more more hip work something maybe that that works on the groins as well so well this one here looks looks like it might be something good to work on the hips and groins at the same time it's a fire log pose, it's a quite an advanced pose, but it really releases the hips this one, so I'm gonna throw this one as we're trying to trying to relax. So there we have it, we're getting up to 47 minutes and we want to keep it within an hour, so let's just come into some uh, relaxation to wind wind this down. We'll just go restorative and that should give us all of the relaxations. And here we have it different range of relaxation it always pays to finish your yoga sync with a relaxation that's a sort short relaxation if you ha if you're short on time just put a short one in but always do it in this case I want something a little bit a little bit longer that one it's a six minute 33 variation okay that's that's a 13 minute one with a soundtrack and 
there we go we've got one hour and 51 seconds for that particular sync so you can go back through and review your sync if you've uh, if you've actually forgotten to to add anything in you can always add something at a at a later time just to just give you a quick demonstration of that if we come through here and we wanted to we wanted to say add a balance pose earlier in that we that we didn't have we could just pull that down into the timeline and you could you can just drag it to the position where you where you want it to be with the mouse there or you can just use the uh, the little little arrows there the they you always get dragged into the end but for now I'm just going to delete that because I've got my one hour and 51 seconds that I want so now I'm going to save this area through in my members area the name of this sync is relax to really relax you need to really move the energy, energy channels and open them up so it may seem vigorous but it really does wind down at the end and you'll be surprised how much you can really relax with this so now we're going to add a description so the other members of yoga sync can have a look at your sync and decide whether you want to do it it's uh, it's all about community this so it's great to put a very accurate description in there if you can so other people know what th what they're looking at so i've already prepared one and i'm just going to tape paste it in there we're going to put a tag in it's it's yoga from here you can view what other tags are available do not click one of these i repeat otherwise you will lose your sync but it gives you an idea of what you can use so i might add met mental focus and maybe respiratory there so if we come down here and just go me in mental focus and respiratory Oh no, I'll put restorative, eh? And then we if you want to make it private, if you don't really want to share your sync with the world, just click that button there and that will take it out of our database so you don't need to worry about other people finding it. If the overall focus for this I'd just say let's afternoon, it's a nice wind out for the afternoon and uh if you could either uh, choose an image here that best represents this sync for you. You can choose choose one of the splashes from the videos, or you can have a file. As you see you here, we have I've got a 640 pixel by 360 pixel image, which I'm going to select, and that'll that'll add that into the thing. It'll make just make the splash nice and new. And so there you go, start to finish, and then we click save. And that's adding all of the entries to our database. And there we have Sync Relax created. Here if other people come in you can see all the movements that we've added over here. And it's fully finished. Here are other syncs by, by me. And if you wanted to edit this at a future time it would be available in your, in your members area under the My Syncs area. I'll just come by Date Added. And there, there it is. If you wanted to edit it in the future, you can click there. If you wanted to keep it and also keep a variation of it, you can uh, come through and click the Claim Sync tool. And then you are ready to play it. So get your yoga mat out, get your gear ready, and enjoy it. The possibilities are limitless with yogasync.tv. I'm glad you could join us for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions on this tool, please open a question with our help desk. You'll be also able to view the transcript in here of the, the sync that after you've created it, which everything is there. And if you're a gold or platinum member, you'll be able to download the PDF just by clicking this button to your hard drive so you can keep it for a reference if you wanted to get away from your computer and print it off or something. So really we've just scratched the surface with this create a sync tool. It's limitless really and so just most of all enjoy yourself and have fun namaste